What is up, guys? Drone Poison coming back at you again for another one. I'm a little bit excited today. As you can see on the bench, we have the new Velox F7SE V50 amp stack from T Motor. I reached out to Ruby and she went ahead and set me up with a free stack to go ahead and put into my Orca build and do a review on. I am normally running Flyfish motors, so this might look a little different to you as I have the Velox V3s on the desk. I'm not switching to Velox, I'm just reviewing. So Flyfish, I got nothing but love for you guys. I reached out to Ruby, told her that my idea, I wanted to do a build video, and really I wanted to target those guys that are looking to just get into the hobby or somebody that's looking for an easy setup, as this setup is basically advertised as beginner friendly, they have recommended settings, they say that the stack works great with the Velox motors, and so they're kind of designed to go hand in hand and make life simpler for you, the consumer. So this, I'm going to do a uh, Orca build. Today's not gonna be the full build. It's just gonna be going over the products that I'm gonna be using and kind of giving you a guideline of where I'm going with this. But what I wanna do is I wanna take a build, put it together. If you guys wanna see that step-by-step, step, let me know, or maybe even a time-lapse. You guys let me know in the comments what you guys wanna see because ultimately what I wanna do is show you guys how to set it up, build it, fly it, and then I'm gonna actually go a step above and beyond and I'm gonna tune it with the custom tune from your boy Drone Poison. And I will get that information out to you guys if you guys wanna try this setup on the Orca and the SE stack uh, with the Velox motors, uh, then we'll have something for you to work with. That's kind of where I'm going with it and I hope you guys stick around and enjoy. But leave me a comment if you guys wanna see a time lapse or a full out build on this and we'll make it happen. We're gonna go ahead and jump into what we've got on the bench today. We have the F7 SE V50 amp SE stack. This is the T motor from, it's the Velox series. Got some nice little stickers. And this is the setup. Looks like this is the top of the board here. And we got wireless connection for your Speedy B connection. So you can do all your tuning on the fly. We've got all socket connection so if you burn out your fc out in the field you can plug everything right back into a new one and just keep on ripping no soldering necessary pretty freaking epic on this there is wireless bluetooth right here we've got we've got our dual becks we've got hd analog uh osd we've got eight motor support we've got pit function voltage selection between five and 10 volts. And we got 128 megs of black box storage and a built-in barometer. You can jump over here and you can select either five or 10 volts right here. And I do believe once you do five or 10 volts, all those pads will jump to five or 10 volts. Um, don't quote me on that. I will get back to you guys when I'm actually soldering up and I can actually test the voltage out. But you do have a pit switch jumper right here so you can use the user one in your beta flight modes to activate the pit and i love that feature because it saves me from burning up my o3 uh i use it all the time all my quads are set up with it where you know if you crash out in your vista or your your o3 is burning up out in the field you can stop recording and you can hit your pit switch and turn it off. So it cuts the power off while you run your beeper. And yeah, that has uh, helped out tremendously for me. And I hope you guys take advantage of it. On this bad boy, we do have the Speedy B app that can connect to the, the wireless connection. It's a uh, wireless Bluetooth. It only seems to be working with the Speedy B Android version as far as what the website is saying. We have the... Unified target is T-Motor Velox F7. We have an MCU that's a STM32 F722 with a gyroscope that is a ICM42688P. And on the BEX, we have a 5 volt 2 amp and a 10 volt 1.5 amp, which is the only thing that I see they could have improved on is the, the amperage rating on the 10 volt leg. We've got six UARTs. 
and we have Bluetooth TMFC. And there's the OSD, which can be used for analog and your HD setup. 128 megabits of black box and a type C USB connector. Nine grams and it's a 30 by 30 capable of three to six S and it's typically used on your 170 to 450 gram multi rotors. And next we are going to jump into, oh, I just moved right on past that. We got our ESC right here. The ESC looks to be pretty freaking nice. Nice big fat pads on the tops and bottoms to solder to. Same with the main leads. I think I like it. Got plenty of capacitance on board. And on this, we are using the MCU AT32F421. And it has uh, an input voltage of 3 to 6S at 50 amps. And the peak current is 60 amps, 5S. And the mounting holes are 30 by 30. And the weight on this is about 12.3 grams. You got some rubber grommets and a capacitor. And you have all your wiring for your O3, your Vista, your receiver, all that good stuff. It looks like they have the whole kit and caboodle for you along with an XD60. We are looking mighty fine. So that is stack that I'll be using in this build. I'm pretty excited about being able to tune it uh, with the Speedy B app out in the field. That makes all the difference. I'm really curious to see if I can actually like use the black box as well out in the field because that would be freaking phenomenal. So I'll get back to you guys on that stuff, but I do plan on doing a custom tune for this thing after I do run their recommended settings and fly it and see how it works. I'll do a custom tune and we'll see how that compares. We'll see if the actual stock tune is as good as what they say. We're moving on to the motors now. I did buy these with my own cash. Like I said, I normally run fly fish motors and that's my go-to. But in this scenario, this stack is designed to be used with these for the new guys. So that's what I'm gonna do. These are the Velox V3 2207s, 2050 KV, and they're looking pretty nice. So my question to you guys is, what do you guys want to see? Do you guys want to see a step-by-step -step build tutorial that walks you through it for that absolute new guy? Or do you guys want the time lapse just to get you by, understand what I'm doing here from there, just see how it flies and then see how my tune flies in comparison and how they maybe look on black box or what do you guys want? Exactly. I'm curious to know. I am going to put it in either the black Orca by X and designs. This is the Orca five frame or the blue Superman one. Which one do you guys think it should go in? Which one first? I'm going to be building two of them. Um, not necessarily two team motor setups, but I'm going to be building two and yeah. So what I'm going to actually be doing is my poor sync mode has seen better days. It has been one heck of a tough frame. But it's just taken so much of a beating in the front carbon. The plates are messed up. The rear carbon plates. It's just taking its toll, you know. And it's like really time to dump some money in it. But as you guys have, have heard me say, I have decided to put all my eggs pretty much into one basket. I'll still be rocking a couple other frames. My Volador, I'm not getting rid of my Volador. <laughs> and I'm not going to get rid of my oily rig either. This thing right here will actually get some donor parts from the sync mode. I just need one motor to get her back in the air and she'll be good to go. But my main quads are the Orcas. Um, but which frame you guys want? The blue one or the black one to be the T-motor setup? Anyways, I appreciate your Ruby Chan and T-motor for letting me have this stack to test out and sponsoring this build. And I just ask that you guys, if you're not subscribed and you guys are watching to the end, I first of all want to say thank you, but make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. And I also have a Patreon, guys. I have a Patreon or you can join the channel here 
and just help me out with getting some more gear and doing some more reviews. I'm here to help you guys gain some knowledge and to me, it, it adds value to the community. So if you guys enjoy it and you guys find any use in it and you wanna help support me, that's great. I have a few affiliate links down below. I don't make much, but I do appreciate everything that I do get and I appreciate you guys for sticking around. Stay fly, keep it in the sky, Drone Poison out.